In this video, I want to show you how to export HD videos in Filmora. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so as you can see here, I have a video on the timeline and we're going to pretend like I just finished editing this video and I'm ready to export the video into my computer. So to do this, we're going to go up here to the upper right side, click the export button, which is going to be highlighted in green. It looks like maybe a sky blue green. Click on that and it's going to take you to this page here. Now, if you click this little arrow here, it's going to give you these options here. You just want to go ahead and hit a uh, create video. So go ahead and select that. We're just going to take you to the same, um, same, uh, same, same window here. All right. So once you get to this window, the first thing is obviously naming your export, All right? So this, I'm going to call this, uh, maybe export one. And as you can see here, we do have kind of like the AI suggestion. It's going to help you suggest like YouTube titles and stuff like that, but we're not going to worry about that right now. Okay. Now we named our video. Now the second option is going to be, where do you want to save this video? So you can go ahead and click this folder and it's going to allow you to navigate to a place, uh, to a location in your computer where you can save uh, your, uh, your export. Okay. Now my favorite part is going to be this preset uh, portion here. Okay. Now, if you click this drop down here, it's going to have a couple of options here. If you have presets that are saved, you're going to see them pop up here. As you can see, I do have two pre uh, presets here. I have for my YouTube shorts. I also have, uh, you know, some YouTube when I'm exporting YouTube videos uh, in here. I, I use this template here. Now, another option is going to be to match to project settings. So if you have a project setting set correctly and you know that that is how you want to export your video, you just go ahead and hit match to pro uh, match to project settings and you just use your project settings. Now, if you don't have any of these and you're trying to set up everything for the first time, you want to go ahead and hit settings here, right? All right. So once you go to settings, you're going to, you know, another window is going to pop up and uh, this is where you're going to be able to customize everything. So what I like to do is I'll go over to higher when it comes to the quality, but you also have to realize that the higher the quality, the larger the file. And it also takes a while to render out or to export uh, that file. So if you pick lower quality, it's going to render and export faster, uh, but it's going to be low quality. Okay. So I always go with higher quality because I don't mind waiting for something to render that is high quality, right? Um, recommended is also a good option to uh, pick here. So I'm going to go with higher quality and for the resolution, we're, we're doing the HD video, you know, video that you can play on YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and hit 1920 by 1080 right here. So click on that. Now for the frame rate, um, this is going to depend on the type of video you're doing. If you're making something that's maybe a cinematic video, you might want to go with 60 FPS. If it's just a regular video, 30 FPS should do. So I'm going to go ahead and hit 30 FPS for this video. Now for the encoder, you want to go ahead and do a H264, which is uh, going to go with pretty much MP4. Okay. Now for the bit rate, you want to go with variable bit rate. There's only two options. I'll go with a uh, variable bit rate. Now for the quality itself, um, so for this one, you want to aim between uh, 15,000 and uh, 20,000. Okay. So anything higher is going to create a larger file and it's going to take a while to export, like I said before. But for this, I go with uh, 20,000 right here. So 20,000. And uh, the export color space, go ahead and pick SDR, which is the first option here. Um, and then for the compression quality. So, you know, when you're exporting these videos, you're converting it into these settings here, right? It's going to be compressed, right? Because it's not the original, uh, you know, the original file. Now you have some options here to kind of like, you know, change the compression quality, right? So if you have none, that means it's not going to, you know, it's, it's not going to change the quality of what's compressed, right? Which is going to be your export. Now, if you want to keep as much of the quality as possible, you want to set your compression quality to high, but this is also going to create a larger file, which would take a while to export. Okay. So now for my options, I always go with medium, right? Cause I don't want a really, really big file. That's going to take a while to export on top of, you know, using a higher bit rate, you know, on top of, you know, using just a higher quality in general. Right. But if you're someone who is aiming for quality, if you are making a cinematic video, that's more of the visuals you want to go with high cause you want to keep as much of the quality as possible. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pick high for this example. 
Uh, now you also have your audio settings here. I'm not going to mess with this. These are fine. Now, if these are settings that you want to use later in the future on a different video, you want to hit save as preset. Go ahead and click that. And I'm going to call this a uh, preset. Uh, maybe uh, example. Something like that. If I can spell it. Okay. Go ahead and hit save. All right, cool. Now, once this is saved, you're going to see that under presets here, you have the preset example. This is what we just created here, right? So if I was going to exit out of this and go ahead and hit export again, and I come back here, uh, you can change this to, I us just call it project. Cool. And then save location. If you go to your presets, now you have your preset example here, right? It's going to list your presets on here. So go ahead and click on that. It's going to apply those settings and Let's go down here. Now, if you have a cloud account with Remora, this is where you're going to be able to, you know, select the option to upload that to the cloud. If you don't, then don't do that. If you want to create a quick, short, or maybe a TikTok, they call them auto highlights. It's going to go ahead and create kind of like a short video to accompany your export. Okay, so you have the option to, um, you know, select TikTok or maybe YouTube Shorts. And TikTok is 15 seconds. YouTube Shorts is like 60 seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and not select that because I don't need that. Now, lastly, if you're exporting, you know, if, especially with the settings that we have here that are, that are gonna create a larger file that does take a while to export. Uh, if you have a GPU, you wanna enable the, the GPU acceleration because that's gonna allow, to, allow you to, you know, it's gonna make the computer render the video a little faster um, than usual, okay? So if you do have that, go ahead and select that option. And uh, yeah, obviously you have the ability to add a video thumbnail here. If that's something that you want to do. But once you have your settings here, go ahead and hit export. And it's going to go ahead and export your video. This is a pretty short video, so it's not going to take a while to uh, to export. But if you have a, a bigger video, it will not. It will take a while, okay? Now once your video is exported, go ahead and hit open folder. And there we go. Now we have our video here. All right, so that is pretty much it when it comes to how you can export your videos in HD mode. That is how I export my videos. If I'm working on projects for clients, if I'm working on YouTube videos, that was, those are the settings that I use. But that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go and hit the subscribe button below if you haven't already. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.